Bitch, get the fuck off my dick, hey. Bitch, get the fuck off my dick, hey. Bitch, get the fuck off my dick, hey. It's blue bills and I ain't worried about a bitch, hey. It's blue bills and I'm just counting up. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bill Devil, and I'm here with my beautiful, lovely auntie, Janetta. Hi! <laughs> she actually made this food. <laughs> so, like, if y'all see this, everything right here was prepared by yours truly. It's time for a mukbang! <laughs> no cap. So, uh, <laughs> before we start eating, though, uh, let's just make a thumbnail real quick. So, like, pick up some. Okay. Yes. Right, I'm gonna pick up two or something. Just talking about to you earlier until mm. like, <laughs> like I was just asking you earlier I'm like I'm so surprised that you actually wanted to be a youtuber because actually my auntie just told me she even called me one day and told me like yeah I want to be a youtuber so and I know I just told you so like auntie explain why like why you wanted to be a youtuber well the reason why I would like to be a youtuber is because I think that I'm a social butterfly and I enjoy people and I enjoy my freedom. And I love to be able to be a YouTuber for one, just to do things on my own time. Right. Um, and um, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> and I, I just feel like, I just like, cause a lot of people, no offense, like you ever feel like people your age, like give up on their dreams? And just like, like, okay, skip it. I gotta work, so that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I do, so I do. That's why I was just so surprised when my auntie came to me telling me that she wanted to be a YouTuber. Well, I think that me, I have tried so many things in life, <clears> and I think that I've, I've always been the type of all, all my other siblings that the most experimental. <laughs> Right. <laughs> now, Auntie, what is one of your favorite hobbies? Like, to this day, like, you get so excited doing? Mm. Vacationing. Vacation. I love vacationing. Um, oh, really? I would have to say my grandchildren. I think I get really excited when I see them or spending time with them. Um. I love it. I have a big kid of heart. I'm a big kid of heart, so I think when we do fun things like going snow sledding or roller skating or stuff like that, look at this. Oh, me. I think I have more fun than them, so I just love to see their little cute little faces just, just light up. So, mm. now, how was your, um, mm. how was your oldest grandkid? My oldest grandson, which is a boy, he is 11, born on 12. <laughs> He's 11. Um, I have a six year old granddaughter and a two year old grandson. And I have a grandson in the bun, <laughs> in the oven. <laughs> so he's due in September, so I will have four grandchildren. Three boys and two, three boys and one girl. So, oh, shout out to B Love. This is her B Love sauce that we are dipping this seafood in, and it is delicious. Hey, do say you are. I don't know why. I tried to make B Love sauce before. It don't taste nothing like this. Good. I'm not even looking at the camera. That's so much I'm eating. Have you tasted king crab? Can you tell the difference in it? I ain't tasted it. I just been eating his lobster in it. Mmm. Cucumber. Mmm. 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 So why do you want a YouTube? I want a YouTube for the simple fact that um, you get to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's YouTube. It's, it's your show. Um. And like she said, you're gonna make a lot of money. Hold on, hold on. She ain't say all that. So 
So I just, well, wanna, about, yeah. I just wanna really, I'm very focused on my future and uh, I can see how fast he can go left. So I'm always dwelling on what's the best best way to, you know, what I to spend my time on actually. So mm. I think YouTube is one of those things <clears throat> that you should spend your time on. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen what it can do for you. Mm -hmm. It could. It's hard work, just like anything else you do. I do know you have to be really um, dedicated. dedicated and, uh, you know, just like anything in order for it to be successful. And, you know, just because you can do things on your own time, you have to make sure that, you know, you put in that work. It's work. I'm telling you, just preparing this meal was work. So I know a lot of people that YouTube, they have to do work. So it's not like they don't. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's something that I want to do. So I think I'll be good at it. <laughs> and I, we ain't afraid of no work. It's mm -hmm. just about where you actually, you know, what, what that work going to do for you. Mm -hmm. So, hey, if, if you tell me if I just continue find that person on YouTube and uploading videos, mm -hmm. we gonna do that and we gonna... And, and another thing is videos that you think people would like to see. Right. Right. You know, because I do watch a lot of YouTubers and uh, a lot of them catch my interest and then there's some that I don't watch no more. So, you know, you do have to catch people's interest. So that's another important thing. Okay. So, mmm. Jumping he right here, he is so good. He is good, I ain't gonna lie. I was just looking at it like that. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. So what we have right now, we have no crab. No crab legs, king crab legs, eggs, potatoes, corn, cucumbers. Did I miss anything? Oh, lobster. <laughs> oh yeah, lobster. And I guess that's about it. Mm -hmm. So, mm. Auntie, I see you like to travel, but do you like to party? definition of party is but <laughs> these days anymore but I guess I do like to party um do I go out to nightclubs no but I do go out to like uh, maybe a bar and grill something like that um, I love live music entertainment um, now I um, anything that had that live live music I love I love all kinds of music um, even 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 country. I love it all. I love <laughs> like jazz. I love music. country music. I like everything. R and B. I can give a little bit of everything. But so I do love live entertainment. But um right now, just being on a beach somewhere is nice for me. Or we're on a balcony somewhere in a nice hotel room. So I do I do, you know, have fun with my friends and you know, but like I said, I don't, but I say party, I don't do the club scene, but right. I do the bar and grills. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, do you like to dance? <laughs> <laughs> My version of dancing. Your version of dancing? I can't dance a lick. Oh, wow. But when the music's on, if I like it, Yes, I do like to move around on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I do like to dance. I do. Um, I'm still working on ballrooming. I got it down a little bit, but I want to get real, real exotically with this 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 uh, ballrooming. So, I think that's so, so, so sexy and sensual to see people just 
you just un. Yeah, it's so smooth. <laughs> so yeah, I do love the bar robe. Okay. I'm learning, but I'm gonna get it down pat. <laughs> now, what you, where you learning from? What I do know from the, the for what I've learned so far, I had a private teacher. Yeah. I did, okay. but barrooming is everywhere. You can go to um, a lot of uh, bars and grills, or or even nightclubs. They have barroom lessons. So, um, COVID stopped a little bit of it, but um. Everything is opening up now, so it's time to get back in there and start learning again for me. So definitely. Okay. So did you cut these crabbies up? No, these are actually already cut. Okay. I yeah. was wondering like. Yeah, they was already cut. That was a plus because that was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they just know people getting lazy and lazy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And this is my first month of the day, believe it or not, but what time is it here? Like, it's like four o'clock? Four o'clock? Yeah. About almost and four. as hungry as I was, I'm already full. I put this um enormous lobster tail and part of enormous crab leg. I haven't even tasted a potato yet. Wow, the what is? What is? So Especially when you dip it in here. Yeah, it is. That's different. <laughs> I ain't never done that. Mm -hmm. mm. So, what is one of your happiest memories? Um, my happiest memories. As a daughter or as a kid? From right now. What is one of your happiest memories? So as an adult. As an adult? I would have to say my happiest memories <sighs> will have to be some of the good times that I shared with my mother who is now deceased. I have a lot of happy memories with her and my father also who is now deceased. So. I would have to say with my parents, you know, I had a, I, I, I had, I, I have a, had a real loving mother and father, and so my memories of, of my happiest moments would have to be with them. Yeah, because I had a great, great, I had a lot of good memories. I did. So I would have to say with my parents. Okay. Yeah, my, my grandma. She was the best grandma ever. Yeah, she really was. Mm. Oh my goodness, are you getting full? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. But I'm still going to eat it. This is crazy. This is enormous. Look at all this food. Man. Mm. So, how was it growing up, you know, back then? Like, was it different? Definitely, definitely. We had a lot of fun growing up. We had a lot of imagination. Imagination. You know, today we have a lot of um, technology. So. So, what, what was your first time getting a cell phone? Like, ooh. I can say the first time I had a cell phone, I was probably about 19 when I had a cell phone. Okay. I was, a, I, I, yeah, I think when I had a cell phone, I was probably about 18, 19. And was it a cell phone or a page? I believe I had a cell phone about 19. So. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, pagers. <laughs> I know if you had one of those. I know a lot You of never had one, have you? No. No, that was way past your time. <laughs> I think I had a flip phone. A flip phone, yeah. Boy, changes. Time has changed. And I have to really, I'm going to have to really look into it. 
to that. Probably about that time. You know, back in the day, we had phone booths. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. Drop <laughs> so a quarter in there and make a phone call. But, yeah. But, yeah, maybe. Maybe about 19. Maybe 20. About 19. So, when you were, like, around, like, 19, 20, what was, like, being all the kids your age did? What you could say? Um, I said kids. No. People your age. Yeah, well, I was kind of different. A lot of people went out to clubs. Even at 19, I was, I'm from Detroit, but I was living out of town when I was 19. And um, I had kind of fast life because I had my children young, so. When I was younger, I didn't do too much hanging out, going out as much as some of the other people did, but, you know, it was nightclubs. A lot of people were going to nightclubs around that time, and, um, um, but skating was in when I was younger. I don't hear a lot of people going skating as much as they did back then, but skating, we did a lot of skating. We did more of the drive-in. Okay, yeah. Um, but, um, I used to love the drive-in back then. That was younger. But even when I was um, a young adult, I did not go out a lot. I never was the type that really liked going out. Okay. I was always the, the more kind of like stay home. And a kitchen girl. I always like to cook. I like to watch my mother cook. I just like to do that and play with my baby dolls. <laughs> so. So, Auntie, can you cook? I can do a little bit of something. <laughs> I think so. Um, I sure like to eat. So. <laughs> she did cook this. I um. I say food to me is kind of easy though, but. You know, I had children young, so yes, I did cook my kids. There was never McDonald's kids. I cooked at least five to six times a week. And the mother days was leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I cooked. Um, and um, to this day, I still like to, you know, cook. I prefer that than going out any day. Takes me as weird, <laughs> but um, hello, darkness, my old friend. Mm. Test the cucumber, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. of course but I'm his mother is my second she's right underneath me so my mom had four girls it's my oldest sister and then it's his mom and then I have wait a minute my <laughs> oldest sister to me then his mom and then a younger sister so yes yeah. Do you think you will ever do a YouTube video with all four of y'all? That'd be sweet. I think four, well we have one sister that lives out of town. It would be nice when she comes to town we could do it. I think it's possible. 
it's definitely possible. I can definitely see us doing some, some YouTube videos. I do have a couple of things in mind, so yeah. Like I said, um, pretty soon I will have my own YouTube channel. Um, that's in the works, but I would like to do that. So for the people, when do you think that, oh wait, Auntie, don't you have like a boutique? I do have a boutique that's on the, the um, verge of opening up. Um, it would be called Bossy Bo uh, excuse me, Bossy Bricks Couture. And, um, and that's B-R-I-C-K-S? Yes. Okay. Bossy Bricks. So, I will be um, showing a lot of my clothing and a lot of things that I'm selling on on YouTube also so we're looking forward to that so I'm excited about that too that's gonna be my new baby <laughs> and so um, so excited what's one fact you can give about each one of your sisters mm. oh my goodness a fact okay. Kim is the bossy one <laughs> that's the oldest. They claim I am, but that's not true. Anyhow, I think my younger, the one underneath me, Anna, I think she is the bratty one. <laughs> the spoiled bratty one. And my younger sister, Sharon, she's the mean one. <laughs> I'm the sweetheart. Yes, I said it. I'm the sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes so yes it's, it's my mom had four girls so yeah I don't know if I can eat anymore I'm kind of stuffed and I think you ain't more than me well yeah I ain't trying to let this food just go completely oh, what we gonna do with you? It, will, it won't go with a waste are you about to take it home? not all of it I'm gonna take a cup piece of some <laughs> But it is a lot of food. I wish Tiana would have came over. She's probably at work. <laughs> well, um, yeah, we can just continue talking and you know. Yeah, because I think I need to take a breather when it comes to eating. Anything you want to tell them? Well, YouTubers, like I said, just stay tuned because we're going to have some more little um, definitely videos coming out soon. We're going to collab and we're going to have some on our own. And um, all I can say is be safe. Make sure that you be safe. I'm so happy that we're getting over. We still are... We're still not out the 100% clear with COVID, but make sure that you do take care of yourself and be safe. And definitely live life to the fullest. Look at that. That's a sweetheart right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we just gonna end the video here. She's stuff. I am pretty stuffed. much stuff. Um, we're gonna end the video here. I really appreciate you, Auntie, for yes. making these memories. Yes, yes. And even showing up. Yes. I what can't wait to see you become yes. a YouTuber. Yes. We're going to do more videos for sure. Yes, shows. yes. All right. So thank you all for watching us. Stay tuned. Bye, I'm YouTubers. <laughs>